Jesus, Mary and Joseph, has you heard about me good fortune? Old Mrs. Penniman died, she did. And what do you think? She left me a furnished bungalow in her well. Oh, I'd been her cook for 20 years, and she had so much money, she didn't know who to leave it all to. She left Dennis, the coachman, a bungalow. She left Nora, the housemaid, a bungalow. And she left me a furnished bungalow. Five rooms it had, and every one of them furnished. Oh, when I heard of me good fortune, I took the street car and went out to look at me bungalow. Oh, it was a lovely house, all ready for me to move into with the pots and the pans and the sheets and the pillowcases and the chairs and the tables and even a piano in the front room and a birdcage in the windy. And what do you think I found in the cellar? One dozen bottles of champagne water, all corked up tight and covered with spider webs. Oh, I knew well that I'd be arrested under the possession if the bone that I law, if they found me with it, and it nearly broke my heart to have to throw it away. But the law is the law. So I seated myself in the kitchen, having pulled the curtains down, and I decided to put temptation out of me forever. I pulled the cork from one bottle, and it exploded like dynamite. But I turned it upside down in the sink, and I emptied all of it out, except for one small little wine glass, which I drank. Then I pulled the cork from another bottle, and it exploded like dynamite. But I turned it upside down in the sink, and emptied all of the contents, except one little wine glass, which I drank. And then I pulled the cork from another bottle. It exploded like dynamite. I emptied it upside down in the sink, and turned its contents into a small wine glass, which I drank. And then I pulled the cork from another dynamite, and it exploded like a bottle. But I emptied the small wine glass full on the sink, and turned it upside down, which I drank. And then I removed another sink, oh mine, another bottle, from the cork. Oh, I emptied it upside down into the small wine glass, and it exploded like dynamite, which I drank. Well, anyhow, I did it to all of them, 12 bottles. But this time the bottle was all empty, and I was full of dynamite. The kitchen range began to dance forward and backward, and I studied the sink. With one hand began to count the bottles with the other. But this time they was whirling rapidly round me. I counted 27 of them. I decided I have to clean the cobwebs off of the bottles, but they was revolving around me like a merry-go-round at Coney Island. I sat on the floor and counted 24 of them as they went by. But by predicting indifference to them and springing at them, they went to win, they was off their guard. I managed to capture all of them by their necks. I placed them beside me on the floor and they immediately began bouncing and bouncing up and down. I counted them again as they performed their revolutions. Two of them hid me in the one hand and I counted the others as they bounced. Would you believe it? At the final count, there was 95, and then I went to sleep.